the pitch. Medard McCoby and his Northrop Bruins paying Canterbury a visit tonight. Ninth minute of the second half, Cavaliers with the 1 0 lead trying to add on to it. Yaya John tracks down the loose ball, but look at the effort from Alex Hernandez to just get a hand on the ball, make the save, keep the deficit at 1. That'd be big, too. Later in the half, 42nd minute, Erdwin Quintana able to find the back of the net for the goal, tie things at 1, and that's where this thing ends. Bruins take the Cavs to a 1 1 draw. Staying on the pitch with the ladies. Lots of good matchups tonight, but we begin at Carroll. 3A number 20, Chargers hosting 2A number 3, Belmont. And it's the home team that strikes first in this one. Just over two minutes in, Callie Geiger finds the back of the net with the left foot. 1-0 Carroll. Later in the first half, Belmont trying to equalize. Nice ball from Kristen Harvey on the free kick. But Caitlin Sagan beats Riley Velez to the spot. Good work from the Carroll keeper. Time winding down in the first half now. Carroll on the attack. Geiger puts one on frame. But Sarah Enterline there to keep it out. Squaws get one in the second half. This one ends in a 1-1 draw. Heading over to Homestead, 3A's fifth-ranked Sparty, looking to rebound from their first loss against Huntington North tonight. And senior night for Sparty, Homestead on the attack from the word go. Three minutes into the game, Sarah Warren gets a hot shot on net, but Cody Douglas there to make the diving save. She'd finish with 16 first-half saves. Yeah, you heard that right. But it was uh, just not enough tonight. 21st minute, Madison Morris finds Mary McArdle in the middle of the field, and McArdle does the rest. She fires home with the left. Sparty takes the 2-0 lead, the 1-0 lead to half, excuse me, they go on to win 2-0. Our last soccer stop of the night takes us to Wayne, the 9-3 Generals hosting South Adams. It was the Generals getting on the board first in this one. 16th minute, April Salazar hits Kara Gerber with the nice through ball. She goes top shelf for the goal. Wayne goes up one. Seven minutes later, Starfire's looking to even things up. Macy Hershey crosses into the box for Maddie Smith. Wayne's Amber Minute comes out to contest. It's called for the foul. South Adams awarded the PK. Emily Myers attempting the PK for the Starfires, but she gets stonewalled by Minnick. She had 13 saves. Wayne shuts out South Adams. 3-0, you're fine.